This video will demonstrate how to restore communication between Dragon and the ERAD Viewer application. The first step is to close any studies currently open for dictation and close the viewer. To close your current study and close the viewer simultaneously, navigate to the File menu and select Quit. Note that the viewer is still running in the background, waiting for a new study to be opened. Exiting, exiting the viewer is performed in the test train. This is done by right-clicking the notification area icon for Practice Builder and clicking Exit. Then, exit any other application, such as the Philips Device Control Center, which may be keeping the Dragon Connector open. To confirm that the Dragon Connector is now closed, we can check the Task Manager to see if Dragon's natspeak.exe process is still running. To load the Windows Task Manager, right-click on the Windows Taskbar and select Start Task Manager. This will launch a new window. Navigate to the Processes tab, if necessary, and sort by image name. Scroll down until you see the natspeak.exe process. If the process is running, we want to manually exit it by highlighting it and clicking the End Process button. Now we are going to relaunch the viewer along with any additional applications such as the Philips Device Control Center from the Start menu. This will reload the Dragon application. Note that Dragon's NatSpeak process is currently using only a few thousand kilobytes of memory. This is because we have not yet loaded a profile. Once we open an exam in ERAD, our profile will load in Dragon. This will cause the memory usage displayed next to the NetSpeak EXE process in the Windows Task Manager to increase to between 200 and 300,000 kilobytes. Depending on the size and complexity of the Dragon profile, this number may increase. This increase is our signal that the ERAD viewer has properly loaded Dragon Naturally Speaking and our connectivity is now restored. At this point, Dragon and the viewer are communicating and we can resume dictation. 